Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Bitcoin Miner here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to hook up your Antminer S7. Alright, in front of every Antminer S7, there is an Ethernet or Cat5 slot. You're going to have to insert your Ethernet cable or Cat5 cable into the front of the logic board. After you've inserted all the PCIe cables, of course. Uh, before powering it on, connect the Ethernet cable to a switch or router to gain internet access. So once the Antminer is on, you can find the connected devices in the device list through your router's web page located on the side of the router. It usually starts with 192.168. You go to the device list and you can see all the connected devices. You can either go in manually with connected devices or you can download an application called Who's on My Wi-Fi and find all your connected devices here as you can see I got my probably gonna blur out all my MAC addresses and all my last IPs uh, and you can name your miners through here and you can find all the connected devices or disconnected devices on here and just name them for your future reference and find the last three digits of their IP and just plug that into your uh, browser after that you type in that number you're going to see a web page like this. It's going to ask for your name and password. All ant miners have configured root as name and password as root also. That is R O O T. After you type root in both spaces, you will show uh, this page will show up in your system showing that you have the ant miner 7 connected to your local network by DHCP. Um, miner status will obviously be zero until you configure your miner. Here you add your pool's URL, and here you would type your worker. Usually it's username dot worker name. So my username is Ricky nine zero two one two. My worker name is obviously just Ant Miner one. Uh, this doesn't this doesn't have to be private because anyone who tries to use this information is only going to make you gain money. So they'd be stupid too. Your password can be anything, and you just save and apply. Your miner status, which is the only thing you'll be constantly checking if you check your miners, would be make sure all of these are zeros. Um, I'm missing one or two zeros, but that's not that's not bad because I got these um, all these used. Most of mine have all zeros, and zeros means that everything's okay. So you want those zeros. Operating temperatures are good between 50 degrees and 60 degrees Celsius, 65 degrees Celsius. So um, mine are running, running in my garage pretty cool tonight at 12.40 a.m. And after you've configured your miners, now you configure your pool. Um, if you made an account with such pool, all you would do is go to settings and of course put uh, type in your Bitcoin wallet um, for your payout and your threshold and to add your wor workers you just go to workers and just add a new worker and name it whatever your ant miners name is in um, in your bitmains configuration so if you put ant miner 2 you just go to the slush pool and type in ant miner 2 when you add a new worker and it does the rest for you once you have it it'll show up if it's up if it's working it'll show it with a green check mark if it's not it'll show with a exclamation point and that's pretty much it um, you just check your dashboard to make sure everything's okay and just earn those bitcoins and that's it and some closing remarks a couple of people have been asking why I haven't been uploading videos regularly I've been traveling and the past two weeks I've had to shut my miners down because I've had an encounter where I left the, my miners running and there was a thunderstorm and the lightning surge or power surge fried one of my power supplies so from now on I'm not leaving them on when I'm out of state because they have to be under constant surveillance in case anything any thunderstorm or flood or whatever happens doesn't da da uh, damage them be sure to keep your miners above the ground level miner rays are about about almost six inches off the ground so if any rain seeps in through the garage I'm good and plus I'm on a hill that's that's another plus with seepage and yeah uh, slush pool has gaining more than a Bitcoin 
almost one and a half bitcoins on slush pool and Kano hasn't been too bad either with um, a couple of, like six blocks per day lately they have been have they have bad luck good luck bad luck good luck orphaned blocks and yeah I, I recommend slush slush's pool and just make sure you go through all the steps I told you and you should be fine alright see ya